isolate the variable from the formula. In order to do this, we need to take everything that is not the variable we're isolating, which is C, and move it over to the other side of the equal sign so we can get C completely by itself on the other side. Now there's only one C in this entire equation, so if our answer has that C on the left side of the equal sign, it cannot also exist on the other side of the equal sign. So if you were to look at your answer choices, if any of these had a C in it, you could eliminate it as the wrong answer, and that may help you uh, more quickly find the correct answer. But in this case, there are no C's in our answer choices, so we can move straight into solving the problem. Okay. So here we need to isolate C. It's inside a set of parentheses, so we can't do anything to it yet until we get rid of this 2 right here. C is being divided by 2. Well, really everything in these parentheses is being divided by 2. So we need to do the opposite operation, which is multiplication. Make sure you do it to both sides to keep the equation balanced. These 2's are going to cancel, leaving us with 2s equals a plus b plus c. We're still trying to isolate C, so everything else near C has got to go. A and B are both positives, they're both being added to C, and the opposite of addition is subtraction. So we can subtract both A and B from both sides of the equal sign, minus A, minus B. Positive and negative A and B will just cancel themselves out, leaving us with 2S minus A minus B is equal to C. C has been completely isolated, so this expression right here is our correct answer, matching answer choice A.